Welcome everyone, this is the Cosmic Awakening and today we've got a new member on the other side. On our spiritual team, my grandmother, she passed away two days ago. Uh, she was the last of my grandparents that I still had here, so she's going to be um, teaming up with me. We are a spiritual team, we always have been and today is not going to be any different with the difference that now she's even more present with us. And so she was a Scorpio, and the reason why um, I'm wanting her to pair up with me today is so that we can ground some messages from above since she parted so recently. Um, so this is why, you know, Scorpionic energy was this Scorpio season. She parted three days after her birthday, and so... These are definitely powerful messages that are going to come through. So you're meant to see this if you came across this reading. This is a timeless reading as well. So if this message finds you, that's when it's supposed to find you. Right now, we have three options. Take your time to decide. Meanwhile, I'm going to remind everyone, don't forget to give this video a like. Um, comment in the comment section even if it's just with an emoji, so that YouTube realizes that my channel is important to you. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Welcome. Um, and uh, hit the bell if you want to be notified of future readings. I'm still doing private readings at the moment, so if you want information for that, you can find it in the description box below, as well as links to the decks that I am using. You can click through them and purchase them directly if you're interested in any of the decks. And... I'm doing a giveaway as well, so you can find that information in the description box below. Right, okay, so without any further ado, guys, we're going to start with your piles. Pile number one, we have the black tourmaline um, bracelet. Pile two, we have the blue lace agate bracelet. Pile three, we have mukite. Okay. Right. I'm going to pull these to the side. You can pause the video if you need more time. Oh, this may be a long reading, so grab some tea if you want to be comfortable. And if you feel you don't have time to watch it straight away, feel free to watch it later. All right, pile one, this is your reading with the black tourmaline. So... If you chose this, you may be needing protection from uh, negative energies, okay? Um, also from your own negative thinking, maybe. You may be needing to raise your vibration. So the black tourmaline will help you ground positive energies and, um, you know, keep any toxicity at bay or any negative energies wanting to come in away from you. These are normally quite cheap to get, so this may be beneficial for you to get one of these or just a black tourmaline rough or polished stone. All right, let me just sip my tea here. Welcome pile one, this is your pile. Okay, so let's see what powerful messages are coming through from the other side, from the other realms, from the other dimensions. Um, with the help of my main spirit guide at the moment. Of course, my archangels are always with us. I've already asked them to be here to clear the energy, to bring you the truth for your higher good and um, to protect you, to, to bring healing and love into your situation. Uh, but now let's see what the messages are for you, okay? I do feel the, these will be very powerful messages coming through for you. And so let's jump right into it. Okay, pile one, these are your messages. So first off, from the spirit animal deck, we have wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. Okay, so definitely with the six plus four is a one, the number 64 may be relevant to you, but I do see a new cycle here. Okay, there could have been a tower moment recently in your life or some betrayal, something that hurt you or something happened to you let's we'll we'll find out more about what what may it may have been where you are but this is saying that there's a new cycle here for you okay um there is a new cycle here for you and it's possibly been 
catalyzed, there's been a catalyst of pain here. Something really stung you, okay, is what this is saying. And so that stinging actually catapulted you to a new beginning. So possibly it had to be, it had to happen for you to realize where you were and where you needed to be. Okay, beautiful wasp spirit. We have a lot of space here today. Right. I wonder why this is a little bit crooked. Oh, it seems like that's okay. And next we have Panther Spirit. Reclaim your power. Beautiful. And then now we have the master number 44. I hope you can see it there. So much exposure. Just give me a second, guys. Maybe that's better. I, I really hope you can see the number now. We have... Why is this so... So much exposure. Okay, there you go. Master number 44. Master number 44. Give me a second, guys. Okay, hopefully now you will be able to see it a little bit better. Up with the exposure here it shouldn't be okay so for some reason there's something you're not meant to see um, but we have here the we have here number 44 so look up master number 44 angel number 44 okay but it, anyway something stung you okay and it was supposed to happen that way because for some reason you were possibly being stubborn or fearful, not moving. And so the universe kind of brought in the energy to force you into the, your destined path. You may have asked for help, assistance with this into pushing you into the right path. And so spirit intervened since you could not. So Obviously, they did not do this without your free will, okay? It's just the way things happen may have not been the nicest, but maybe because you took some time longer and this was the way to actually get you to see things the way they were. And this is what's going to pull, push you in to reclaim your power, okay? That is the energy here. So we're going from a 1 to a 44. 4 plus 4 is an 8. So there's going to be huge progression now that you have unblocked something here. So there was this kind of tower moment or this sting, this pain that really pushed you. And uh, the result of this now is going to be really quicker, okay? It's going to work a lot faster and quicker this way. There's going to be a faster progression than there has been. I'm hearing there has been some stagnancy, but now things are going to pick up pace finally. This is about reclaiming your power, and that's the path you are on right now. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Then from the Moonology, we have the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. So you may be getting uh, answers in the full moon in Gemini. You could have your moon in Gemini. Um, there could be a passed on loved one, a deceased loved one coming through who had their moon in Gemini. Mm. Full moon in Gemini. So if you are you have been seeking answers, if you haven't been going through this uh, tower moment, you will very soon and you will get your answers from there is what this is telling me here, okay? The answers you need are coming. Maybe not the answers you want, but the answers you need, okay? And with this, with the, being the full moon in Gemini, you're definitely going to be seeing clearly. Your mind's going to be very clear about what it is that you're seeing. And it may hurt, but sometimes the truth hurts, but it's better than a lie and it's better. And it's it's really necessary so that you can stand in your power again. Because, you know, sometimes with lies, we keep stuck in uh, and powerless and we're not able to make the right decisions because we really don't know what the truth is, Right. Um, like for me, I always prefer a hard lie than 
you know, um, a beautiful truth. Anyway, but, you know, you've been stressed, and so spirit really wants you to take a time to breathe out. You maybe been hyperventilating, um, and so, you know, they're just saying breathe out as much as you breathe in. Don't keep it all in you. Uh, breathing out, I also see a, a sigh of relief here. And take time for yourself. Take time to process all of this, okay? Also take time to vent whatever is weighing on your heart. Speak to someone. Okay, now we have full moon in Pisces. Balance spirituality and practicality. So... There may have been an over-focus on practical things and that has keep, kept you a little bit anxious. But now what Spirit wants you to do is to reconnect with Spirit so you can reclaim your true power, which does not lie in the material world. You know, also when you do find your answers with Source, with, um, you know, away from the material world, that's when... A lot of times the solutions in the material world actually do come forward, okay? Um, it's not the other way around. Beautiful. Okay, guys, so jumping into the tarot now, we have a wheel's fortune. Yeah, exactly. So whatever stung you, whatever big change happened for you, uh, and now the 10 again is a 1. So you've completed a cycle definitely here with the wheel of fortune. And, you know, with life stings, I do feel now you're going to get some positive karma. The wheel is turning in your favor, okay? Now you are heading toward your good fortune. This is what this is saying, okay? And again, 10 plus 0 is a 1. So a new cycle is beginning, a more balanced cycle where you're balancing your spirituality and your practical life. You're understanding the importance of bringing in spirituality into your everyday life and this is going to have you really benefit materially as well so you could be a fire sign a leo sagittarius aries or you could have a child who is a fire sign leo sagittarius aries um or you could be uh, getting a real spark of inspiration now that you've gone through whatever it is you've gone through and you're at a new cycle here. And this new cycle is going to be a really, really passionate one. That one that you're passionate and motivated about. And it's like you're going to get a new zest for life here. Okay? And you're at the beginning stages of this new cycle. So... Right now, you may be um, coming up with um, developing a plan for your inspirations, but you're really just taking it all in right now. I don't see you taking a whole lot of action. Why? Because you're still walking away from something here, okay? Um, and you're walking on to, with the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Water being here, you're, you're waiting for something to happen. Okay, after this inspiration is coming to you, you're waiting there for a second. So then you can, like, I'm seeing a means of transportation. So you may be want, waiting to travel somewhere. Uh, and meanwhile, you are um, developing these ideas. Um, and you're just taking this time to rest, to ponder, to reflect on things. Because very soon you will be able to walk away from a toxic situation and into a new life, a new cycle, okay? What you are walking away from may be something regarding your love life and you're moving into a new situation or you've made a decision to walk away from something that will lead you toward a higher level soulmate. Um, but this again is Gemini energy. So I'm seeing a lot of mutable energy here, okay? A lot is still shifting and changing for you with all this Pisces and Gemini energy. Shifting and changing. So you're going through a, tra a transition phase. I feel you have, you are closing a cycle and you're about to open a new one. So you're in that in-between phase right now. And um, he has a cloak on or he or she. And so that's reminding me of hermit mode. You're about to, uh, you're in hermit mode right now and you're about to leave hermit mode. But you need to make some kind of a decision, 
okay so you still need to make some kind of a decision so maybe you've spiritually left something but you're still uh, strategizing on how to physically leave a certain situation now we have neptune again pisces energy so dreams you may be getting dreams inspiration through dreams and now we have the 12th house which is again pisces energy so neptune is a uh, is 12th house energy so is the ruler of the 12th house of Pisces and the 12th house is Neptune energy so is the house for Neptune now we have Scorpio okay so water signs and Gemini here okay or a Scorpio may have left your life could be a deceased loved one coming through who is a Scorpio with the moon in Gemini okay um, or a moon in Pisces and they are now coming to you in your dreams. Could be the energy going on here as well. Now we have Cancer. So heavy, heavy water signs here with Gemini. There could be a Gemini Cancer cusper watching this or related to this reading somehow. But what this is saying is you're going to be getting downloads through your dreams and your subconscious mind is going to be working a mile a minute, right? You're going to be uh, maybe becoming aware of a lot of stuff that was pushed down subconsciously and this is going to lead to a lot of healing I do see prayer I do see you tapping into your Akashic records um, you're going to get access to a lot of information a lot of information that was in your trapped in your subconscious it's going to be unlocked for you okay meditation is recommended right now okay um, empathy forgiveness karma but good karma this time okay baggage releasing the baggage you're going to get access to the unseen and this is going to be highly transformative death and a rebirth okay so you're going through a spiritual awakening and a spiritual ascension you're going to change immensely but this is all for the better. You're, you're undergoing a lot of spiritual development right now. Okay. And I do feel this is coming at the back of the last full moon. So something might have fallen away this last full moon. And you're going like, what now? What now? Okay. So now just give yourself a pause to reflect, to make that decision. There's no hurry. Okay. Because um, there's this energy where you could also be... Hey, Sagittarius, and you're going through 12th house Scorpio season right now, and you're having to look within and let things go. Um, but this is a time to tap into your feelings, your emotions, okay? Deal with them, let them come out, let them show themselves. Um, there are things that you need to destroy and transform so that new things can come out of this. So definitely hermit mode energy. Um, you're maybe wanting to spend more time alone in your home um, because there's something really powerful going on with you. A powerful, powerful transformation that's leading you to a new beginning, one that is more meaningful for you, okay? Archangel Michael is with you. He's saying you can do it. Okay, so you could know he is your guide. And he's saying, take that leap of faith. You will soon be taking this leap of faith. You're so soon going to be taking this risk and putting your heart's true desire into action. So now it's really tapping into that heart space, that heart chakra, and deciding exactly what it is that your heart wants. And walk away from a toxic situation. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy new doors open as a result. So they're really encouraging you to walk away from the toxicity. Because that's going to open doors for you. So there may be someone trying to hold you back because they see you flying. And they see that as threatening. It's something they're not comfortable with. So they may try to pull you down. And so, because this is saying you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So I'm seeing this as a, a case of you being the one taking the first step and others following, but you really need to be courageous enough to walk away because you know that's the right thing for you. Anything that makes your body feel sick or you feel down or that's not for you that's toxic so you need to identify it walk away because right now you need all your energy to fly high 
because you're supposed to be inspiring other people. And once you do walk away from a toxic situation, whether that's a toxic thought pattern or a toxic person, place, situation, new romance is imminent. So it's just waiting for you to walk away from something. If, if, you're, um, if you feel that something you're doing in your relationship is toxic, you need to walk away from that and then the passion will reignite in your relationship. If you feel it's the person, then you need to walk away from the person so that you can find someone new. And, and that's there for you, either situation. So be open to giving and receiving love. Heal your heart chakra by uh, doing yourself the favor to walk away from something that no longer serves you, okay? Yeah, and take some time out. Exactly, that's the energy. You may have been really busy taking care of someone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself, okay? Because that's, that's when you're going to start ascending. That's when you're going to be able, after this, you're going to be able to take that leap of faith. Now, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So if you've lost a child, um, they want you to know that your child, child is well cared for. They're happy and cared for God, by God and the angels. If you are waiting for a child to come through, well, they're, they're saying we're coming through. And um, meanwhile, we're being taken care of, Okay is what this is saying and if you have children know that they are safe and protected adriana i am leading you toward the answer to your prayer so please listen to and follow the steps i'm communicating through your intuition thoughts and dreams exactly so they're trying to communicate with you what it is you need to walk away from what it is you need to let go of where it is you need to go it's all them really guiding you in the direction you need to be going in, okay? And even if something seemingly bad happened to you, it was them guiding you and leading you. Okay, we have Earth Angel. You are a light worker who has come to Earth to teach about love. You may be realizing this now. You may realize this, but you needed to close this cycle in order to fulfill your light worker duties. You will be illuminated, you will grow, and there's God energy with you. So you're definitely divinely guided, okay? Um, and you're growing a lot spiritually. And you're going to feel really good as well. Then for the crystal spirits, we have celestite or celestite. I don't know how you call this exactly. We have the number 615, which amounts to a six. So this is about nurturing and um, taking care of your loved ones as well. Celestite is also used to communicate with the higher realms, with your spirit team, with your angels. But I want to read that one for you. Pile one. Connection to the angelic realm and divine energy. So if you want to connect more with the angelic realm it seems like the angels are really with you because i'm seeing a lot of angels here um so to connect to the angelic realm and divine energy you may want to get some celestite so that you can open up clear channels for communication with your guides and universal consciousness okay so if you want to expand faster and um, grow quicker than get some celestite because you're going to get more downloads of messages if you have a celestite cleanse it uh, put it under the moonlight the full moon or the sun or both actually yeah because we have the sun here so definitely under the full moon and the sun each of us has a unique expression of the conscious universe whose endless imagination is also expressed through guides and angels did you know that these entities are eager to help you find balance and align yourself with the conscious universe so that you can experience all you deserve? Celestite spirit is here to let you know that you are always connected with magical beings from the angelic realms, beings that are especially gifted at showing us what the eyes don't always see. Yes, that's why this 44 was so foggy. It's like your power is there to claim, but you're not seeing it. 
And so they're wanting to show this to you because you're not seeing it clearly and you can't see it with your eyes, but you're supposed to see it in your mind's eye or feel it or know it. And they're trying to bring you this, this message. Your message today is to be open to the guides and angels around you, above you and below you. So open, open yourself to their messages. Allow them to bring the messages forward to you that are for your highest good. Okay? Give them that um, permission. And also give them the permission to help you. And ask them exactly what it is you need help with. They are loving and supporting you in finding your purpose and feeling joy Love and healing to all when you are feeling alone and weak. Today, connect with the angelic realm by calling upon those loving guides to light the path for you. Light the path. See that torch there? To light the path for you and help you become conscious of the unconscious gifts that are there for you now and always will be. Beautiful pile one. Let me know how this resonated for you in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell for further notifications. I would love to know how this resonated for you and how this message has helped you as well. All right. Bless you, pile one, and see you soon. Bye for now. All right. Pile two, this is your reading with the blue lace agate. Okay, I'm, I'm sensing with the blue lace agate pile two, you guys are in need of peace. Maybe some alone time as well. So if that's the case, get some blue lace agate. It's going to help you feel really peaceful. I'm getting a lot of uh, relaxed sensations from holding this. It's like, it's really vibrating in my hands. It's giving me like this. It's going like this, pulsing in like really relaxed energy. Beautiful. Okay, pile two, what is your message? What is your powerful message that you don't want to miss? Okay, this is a timeless message. So let's see what your guides, your spirit guides, the angelic realm, your deceased loved ones have for you, okay? So first off, we have the animal spirits and we have snake spirit. Number 55, so definitely a lot of change going on for you. Five plus five is a one. Change leading to a new beginning. And it starts with healing. So right now you're undergoing a time of healing, pile two. Okay, it's time for you to heal right now. And now we have a five again. Look at this. So you could be a five in numerology or you could be um, in a year five for you. A rebirth is assured, bad spirit. So there will be a rebirth and healing. Oh, I'm also hearing if anyone of you are worried about the global situation right now, don't worry because we're about to go through a rebirth next year, okay? Healing and a rebirth. So things are about to get better. Now we have 555. Check out angel number 555, master number 55, and just the number 5. So five and change and a new beginning is heavy here. But right now, things may seem a little bit upside down, but that's necessary to gain a new perspective so that we can move into a new era, okay? But there will be healing, there will be change, there will be a new beginning, and there will be a rebirth. Beautiful. Meanwhile, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. So you could have your moon in Leo, Um you may be allowing uh, pride to get in the way of your healing. So if you're feeling like you don't want to say something out of pride or you're not helping someone out of pride or you're not even asking for help out of pride, you need to get out of that energy, okay? Because it's blocking you and it's blocking your healing, okay? You could have a moon in Leo. The last full moon in Leo may have been important, so go check the calendar when that was and if there was a specific event around that that triggered your defenses to go up. So if your defenses are too much up, tap into your vulnerability. Understand that, you know, we all go through stuff and pride has no business in the world right now. If anything, it's blocking the healing. Yeah, work through your fears. So you may have a fear about what other people think. Um, I just this just came to mind here with the pride. Um, so that could be your main fear is what other people think. 
And so, you know, by step by step, overcoming this fear is really taking one step at a time, one person at a time, one word at a time, one phrase at a time, okay? That's how you're going to work through your fears. And in the new, the next new moon in Scorpio, something significant will happen. And I feel it's going to be that change and that rebirth, okay? Will be the time where you have worked through your fears and raised your vibrations. Go check my community board for uh, information on raising your vibration because I just posted something there and uh, may be relevant to your situation here on YouTube. I have a community board and uh, I will be developing more about that subject as well. I do talk about raising your vibrations a lot and it starts with first step is really moving away from the fear because that's the lowest vibration. And so the way you work through your fears is really, first of all, not allowing pride to get in your way because that's how the, the healing and the rebirth will, will process. And then, yeah, and as you move away from pride, you're going to substitute it with confidence. That's what's going to come out of moving from away from your fears is becoming more confident. And this is going to bring you success. So success, new moon in Leo, the next new moon in Leo will be a time of success for you, okay? Next, whenever you're watching this, this is a timeless reading, but whenever you're watching this, the new moon in Leo is going to bring you success and that's when you're going to be feeling confident, okay? Uh, I'm also seeing courage here and if you look at any, uh, you know, you have steps in raising your vibration. If you look at any chart, you're going to see that fear is down here and up here is, you know, um, higher consciousness and in the middle you have courage. So I do feel that courage is, you know, you're going to be able to move through your fears and jump right up to courage status state, okay? So then you can keep moving up to joy, love, and the higher consciousness. Right now you're having to work on your courage to move away from your fears. And I, I feel your fears are very much connected to what other people think and about what other people think, you know. It, there's always going to be people who don't like what you do and people who do. And so you're never going to please everyone. You're never, not everyone, even if you do something very right, there's always going to be naysayers. There's always going to be haters, even if it's because they can't be doing what you're doing, you know. So um, really worrying about what other people feel, think about us really is useless because in all truth, it's something you're never going to be able to solve and you still need to keep moving forward anyway and you need to focus not on the people who think negatively about you but on the ones that are there to support you because there are people there to support you with the three of cups being here you're going to find a sisterhood a brotherhood um, people supporting you friends okay so you have friends so focus on that they are the key to your self-confidence. They are the key to your success. Collaborations, your friends, like-minded people, okay? Celebrating the blessings in your life rather than looking at, you know, uh, the things that bother you. Because if it really bothers you what other people think, then you, you need to take your focus off that because that is keeping you from healing. It's keeping you from your confidence and your own success, temptation obsessive thinking maybe you're probably struggling struggling with worry and obsessive thinking capricorn energy you may have capricorn in your chart um maybe you're a little bit of a workaholic and you need to um, actually spend more time having fun and celebrating your achievements because there are achievements here there is success to be had but you need to really put yourself in that vibration already right? Even if you're not quite where you want it to be, you need to feel like you've achieved that already. And uh, stop working so hard and work, you know, smarter. Um, and also, there's a warning here, don't fall too much in the temptation of money and try to follow your heart more on, about what the things you need. Uh, like if, let's say, if it's socially acceptable, a certain job, but that is keeping you, you know, uh, fearful and in lower vibration, Maybe you need to be doing something that you love that may not bring money immediately, but it eventually will. Yeah, anxiety, nine of swords. So you are in a state of anxiety currently, okay? And this is because of your fears. And so if you don't 
follow your heart. If you don't realize that you need to collaborate, there are other like-minded people around you. And if you're focused on the kind of people that you feel are against you, you're going to stay in anxiety mode because you are obsessively thinking about that most probably. And so you need to move away from that and you really need to connect with those friends of yours who are true friends Okay, and it's going to happen. It's time with the judgment here, okay? It's that's where you're headed. So there there is healing in the situation. That's that's what you're working through and you're going to work through it. Healing, Kiron. Again, I can't make this up. Look at this. Synchronicity. Okay? There are healing powers around you. There will be growth in your situation. You just need to release these thoughts, okay? Work on your per personal development more than on your money right now. Um, there are issues that have been inherited. So I do see a uh, karmic clearing, karmic healing, generational karma, you're healing. As you heal yourself, you're healing generations behind you and the ones to come as well. And it's like, it's all on you right now. Whatever you do now will change the future forever for anyone who comes after you. Okay. Generational trauma, any shame. Okay. You need to really heal that. None of us are perfect, so you can't expect to be perfect. And so in this last full moon, you may have been crying a lot and releasing a lot, but now it's really time to like, you know what? I don't care what you, these people think about me because, you know, guess what? They're not the people who brought me to where I am. So, you know, let go of the pain, cry it all out, and you're, you're going to be healing from this. Okay, and very soon you're going to be tapping into some mysteries with the numinous here, into the unknown. If you feel that you need help tapping into the mysteries of life, into your psychic abilities, get some amethyst. Okay, uh, you're going to, through this healing, you're going to be learning a lot and accessing your psychic abilities. If you've gone through pain, this really actually opened up your psychic abilities. Okay to understand the universal truth, the cosmos, okay, and to become closer to source, right? So I do see a lot of shadow work being done right now, and you're understanding a lot of uh, why things are happening the, the way they are. You're tapping into other realms, other worlds, other dimensions. Um, you may be feeling tinglings in your body, more specifically in your hands and your crown chakra. Yeah. So time for a revolution. So there may be something happening all of a sudden out of the blue quite quickly, either a, a breakthrough or something's going to happen that's going to inevitably uh, pull you out of your suffering. Okay, even if it's something that you're probably someone who doesn't like surprises, but you may be surprised by something or some kind of insight that's going to come through from your healing and it's going to it's going to propel you into healing a lot faster um when it comes to your um your traumas okay your intuition is going to be speaking out volumes and so you need to really notice all those tinglings going on in your body all those thoughts coming in Pay attention to everything because it's guiding you, okay? Something unexpected is going to happen here, but it's going to reform your life. And it's going to set you on a rebirth. 11th house. So this is, again, Uranus energy. Um, um, there could be Aquarius energy here. You could have Aquarius in your chart somewhere or a strong Uranus placement. Uranus and Chiron may be... And it's some kind of an aspect that is currently transiting your chart. But again, friendship. Again, friendship, your community. That's where you're going to heal. You're going to find your soul tribe, your community. All of a sudden, out of the blue, you're going to find this community. Yes. And this is going to be extremely healing. Beautiful. You're going to feel hopeful again. Maybe there's a startup involved in this. The future is going to be bright with friends and that's going to yank you out of your anxiety, out of your fear. Wow. 
priorities, okay? You need to work through your priorities right now. Okay, so there may be things that you want dearly in your life, but first there are priorities. You know which ones they are, and healing is definitely a priority right now. And connecting with friends, networking, establishing new friendships, that is your priority right now. Healing and establishing new friendships. Home. Spending time in your home, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So you may be changing your home somehow or moving to a new home, all of a sudden having to leave a, a home where you are and that's going to be a priority for you. But this is, um, the situation is going to improve for you. So whatever happens, if someone leaves or if something changes about your home, it's all for the best or if you move. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You've finished one part of your life, now a new and even better part is beginning. This is what they're trying to bring to you, so be willing to release whatever no longer serves you. However, this new beginning uh, requires a little bit of caution. Look deeper into the situation before you proceed, so you may need more time to think about this, and you will be doing so. Because right now you may be confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do more research or seek advice, expert advice before making a decision. So this expert could be a psychologist, um, could be a, a private reading, could be um, just your own research. But you need to look deeper into situations. So you may need a private reading or to talk to some kind of expert here. You know how this resonates for your situation. But mainly you need to honor and follow the guidance of your heart. Okay, that's how you're going to pull in prosperity. Is following your heart and what your heart wants. The heart wants what it wants. Daniel, this could be pertaining to a marriage. You're getting assistance. I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you now. I'm hearing that song. The heart wants what it wants. Selena Gomez. Archangel Raphael is here to heal the situation, to heal you. You're probably a healer as well. And Archangel Raphael is here to help you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. Spiritual challenges, emotional challenges, mental challenges. You are a healer like me. So a marriage situation may be healed here as well, but you need to follow your heart. Akasha. Akashic Records. Did I say Akashic Records? Okay, watch pile one as well. There may be a message there for you, but so this could be, okay, just go watch pile one if you felt so inclined to do so. So you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken in their own spiritual gifts and divine life mission, but you need to heal first, but this could be the healing work. Tapping into your Akashic Records as well. Singing and dancing is going to help you heal by expressing yourself and awakening your psychic senses. You're awakening your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. So mu music and movement is not only going to pull you away from anxiety and from your fears, it's also going to open up your spiritual gifts and your healing. Beautiful. Because right now you may be in survival mode, but very soon you're going to feel really passionate about life. Last but not least, to help you through this, we have Citrine. So Citrine is about attracting success and joy into your life. So I would definitely recommend you get some Citrine. Watch out because some Citrine is actually burnt amethyst. So make sure you're getting, you know, even if it's a small Citrine, that it's the right Citrine. Number 17, so abundance. One plus seven is an eight. So I do see abundance here for you, and it's going to also pull in abundance if you get the citrine. But that's where you're headed anyway, is into abundance. Now, joyful expressiveness, exactly. Exuberance and happiness. Letting go of any and all negativity. Beautiful. Now is the time for you to be and to experience the tremendous joy available to you, because it's available. You just have to align yourself with that. 
you're going, what I sense is you're going from a lower vibration definitely to a higher vibration. I do see you being more courageous. Citrine will help you immensely with this. With all the hard work you do to overcome your old patterns, fear, thinking, wondering, and worrying about what other people think, patterns, thought patterns, heal the wounds of the past. Heal the wounds of the past. Kiron energy. And forgive yourself and others. As you walk the healing path, you might find that you have forgotten how to just have fun, singing, dancing, celebrating, getting together with friends. You forgot to have fun and laugh. Be happy today. Citrine spirit is here to amplify the joy in your life. So feel it and express it as you are, as if you are broadcasting it to the entire planet because you are. However serious life may feel, the conscious universe really wants all of us to have fun. So, you are doing important work when you exuberantly share your joy with the world. Make time for pure playfulness and joy today. Yes, that's going to help you move away from your fears. Because if you're feeling joyful, you cannot be feeling fearful. So, citrine is a stone that teaches us how to create abundance by taking action from the enthusiastic heart-based, heart-based, what does your heart want? The heart wants what it wants, place. It helps us recognize the value in all that we have, teaching us gratitude and the lesson that true abundance is not about monetary worth. It's not about monetary worth. Okay, enough said. I'm going to close this reading pile too. Let me know how this resonates for you beautiful message i love how that last card just really tied everything in okay and i'd love to know how this resonates for you don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and hit the bell because that is how you get notified of future readings i also do live readings here so watch out for that space only way to know is by clicking the bell right thank you so much for watching bye for now stay safe and hope to see you soon Welcome pile three. Last but not least, pile three. What powerful messages are wanting to come through for you today? You are meant to see this. It's a very powerful reading and I'm going to explain this bracelet here is Mukite, okay? This is about keeping yourself youthful, okay? Aging gracefully and looking younger. So if you're worried about any of these things, get some Mukite. Beautiful. Now, what are the messages here for you? We're going to start with the spirit animal. So first off, we got lizard spirit. The number 38 may be relevant to you. Dream the world into being. There's still time is what I'm hearing. You still got plenty of time. Just keep yourself youthful. It's about your mindset. Number 38 may be relevant to you. Three plus eight, 11. 11. Go check out the number 11, master number 11. And angel number 11. Okay. One plus one is a two. So collaboration and partnerships maybe. So whatever you're dreaming about may involve a collaboration or a partnership. Or it may benefit from that as well. Right now they're just wanting you to dream. Because your dreams will actively manifest into your reality. Nightingale spirit, love is all around, 41. Four plus one is a five, change. Changes in relationships, changes in collaboration. Love fueling your dreams. Love is fueling your dreams, so feel the love around you. It is around you, so you can access it. Music maybe have something to do with this, playing music, listening to music. Listening to music may have you feeling loved, accessing love. If you play an instrument, that may be how you tap into your higher vibration of love as well. That's how you may communicate love to others as well. You may have a dream to, you know, make music. So make it happen. So supermoon, emotions are running high. So this last moon... Full moon on October 31st, a rare 
Halloween, blue moon, second moon, full moon in the month, okay? A lot of rarity. The veil was thin and it opened a portal there. So this may have had you, your emotions running high and realizing that, you know what, I really want to follow my dreams. So you're being supported is what they're saying by deceased loved ones, by your spirit team. They're, you're getting the support that you need, but you need to be willing to step out of your comfort zone. You may still be in this energy, the south node energy, what is comfortable to you, what you've known from a past life that you do quite naturally and quite well. You may not be wanting to look at other aspects that you're kind of being forced to step into. Maybe you're not very comfortable being there. Okay, if that has to do with relationships, let's say you have a north node in your first, first house. And wait a second. You are stepping into your comfort zone. You are stepping out of your comfort zone. And as you do, you are being supported. North node. You're already on the way to your life purpose. This is not south node. This is the north node. But anyway, the other message is valid. But this tells me that you are already underway. You're already there. And that's how you're going to make your dreams come true. By stepping out of your comfort zone. If you need um, a further guidance on your north node and your life purpose, I can do a reading on that for you. But also you can go to your uh, astrological chart and find out in your north node where what house it is in and what sign it is in also and what other planets are there to get you know clues about what that you should be doing or conf confirmation and validation of what you already know. Okay, four of wands. You're definitely supposed to live your dreams and live comfortably and you could be on a twin flame journey. Your twin flame, you know, has the same life purpose or at least your life purposes are intertwined somehow. You could collaborate on that. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be your sign or your twin flame or this could just mean that you're about to get a message um, of love uh, or want someone wanting a higher level commitment, someone apologizing or someone wanting you to take, take you out on a date, whatever resonates with your situation. This could be your twin flame because this is falling right underneath the twin flames here. Not the twin flames, but the four of wands. So there could be a twin flame union coming out of you, you making this decision to step out of your comfort zone into your life purpose toward your north node. Cancer Pisces, sorry, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. So you could have Taurus Capricorn Virgo in your chart. Your person could. But this is also saying that you are meant, if you do take the step out of your comfort zone toward your life purpose, there's going to be abundance. And possibly a marriage coming out of this higher level um, soulmate commitment. And there's someone watching you, spying on you, checking out your social media, looking at your pictures, what have you, and preparing to come through with a love offer, okay? You could have Virgo in your chart. This person could have Virgo in their chart. You're getting Jupiter expansion when it comes to a twin flame situation or your work situation. You're getting a strike of luck here. Um, your Jupiter may be in Virgo. Um, but if you are thinking about getting into some kind of business that involves mushrooms or um, uh, apothecary, herbs, something like this, there's going to be expansion. You are currently alchemizing you're transforming, your DNA is very fluid and you're currently bringing in downloads and you're grounding them and you're transforming your very existence with the power of manifestation. I'm also getting from this. You may be doing research, you may be studying something new. North node, again, you're, you're about to fulfill your destiny if you haven't started already and, and luck is by your side because you've made that bold choice, that courageous choice. 
you, you could have Aquarius in your chart, but you're about to do something innovative as well. Go watch Pile 2. There may be a message in there for you. You may be experimenting. You may be doing something really outside the, out of the box here. Eccentric. Maybe a little bit disruptive. Um, yeah, we're all stepping into um, the age of Aquarius. And so they're also saying that the age of Aquarius is going to bring you a lot of expansion. You just need to open your heart to love. Work on your heart chakra. Don't forget about love to raise your vibrations. If you're starting some kind of a business or if you're working too hard and you feel like you're the only one who can do everything right, start de delegating. Otherwise, you may experience burnout. Also, ask, ask for help as you step into your life purpose. I do feel there's going to be a lot of helpful people. Yeah, this could be a, a business venture as well. That's a part of your life purpose. And they're saying this business venture is going to be very expansive, very lucky, very abundant. So if you're thinking about a business venture, but you're uncomfortable because you feel that, oh, you're not prepared for this, well, you are. Trust and follow through a new business idea or career opportunity because it's going to bring in abundance. And it has to be heart-based. It has to be something coming from your heart space, something that you really love. And look, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Move toward your life purpose and have faith. Also start delegating to open up this abundance. Don't do everything by yourself. Get someone to help you. There's someone willing to help you. They're just waiting on the sidelines and you may know who this person is. Azur, the de your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. It's going to happen. You just need to have faith and follow through that new idea. Make a business plan and trust that whatever's in your heart space is going to work out for you because luck is definitely by your side. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. So you could have a passed over loved pet that is coming through and telling you they're okay and they're loved and watched over. Or your pets on earth will be safe. Spirit team wants you to take excellent care of yourself because as you do, everyone else will benefit as well. So... Start delegating, yes. So you may be thinking that doing everything for everyone else is going to keep people happy and well. But no, you may be enabling people. And if you're not taking care of yourself, you may soon be lashing out on someone. So they really want you to give yourself a relaxing treat. As soon as possible, they're saying today, such as a massage, a sea salt bath or pedicure. Could even be an Epsom salts bath. Okay. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. This could also be related to a pregnancy because you are being watched over, guided, and protected during these changes. So you could be heavily pregnant or you could be thinking about getting pregnant and they're saying, yes, this is a good time. Or you could be thinking about a business venture. Yes, um, you're actually a lot closer to making this happen than you really think. Archangel Michael is with you. Beautiful, but beautiful. You're working very closely with this powerful archangel, you may already know about this, who is protecting and guiding you through the situation. Confirmation here, okay guys? So last full moon again may have been a time of completion and culmination for you. Something may have left your life and um, or you may have come to a lot of realizations. A lot was a lot of light was shed over. All, all three piles got the full moon very strongly. So this full moon really as collectively did affect all of us quite a lot. Um, this is a timeless reading. So, you know, even, even if um, it did not um, happen, you know, when I'm posting this, you, this will still be true in the future if you're watching this. But yeah, you've completed a cycle, you're about to move into a new cycle, but this new cycle you need to be more trusting, more connected to your heart, willing to step out of your comfort zone, 
um, it's time. You're about to step into that new phase here. And from our crystal spirit, we have turquoise. Number 57. Five plus seven, we have 12, which is a three. Three is about networking, friendships, uh, socializing, having fun. I want to read from the card for you. So let's see how turquoise is going to help you. What message we have for you here. Okay. Storytelling, reframing a different way of perceiving. So you may be a storyteller, you may be a writer, you may have a story to tell and they're encouraging you to tell this story. It could be writing lyrics as well, telling your story through lyrics or something like that. Each of us can experience the same event differently because all of us are coming from different vantage points. Yeah, there's some kind of perspective that you have that you're, you're supposed to share and that may make you uncomfortable, but it's getting, it's stepping you into your life purpose. So being a writer could actually be a part of your life purpose. Know too that as you change, so will your perspective and the message, uh, the message turquoise spirit has for you. Yeah, you could have a blocked um, um, throat chakra and, and the way to unblock it is to really write things down. It's going to be easier than speaking it out. Or you can just tell your stories to people. Speak them out. The message Torquist Spirit has for you is that you can change your story of what happened in the past at any time. You can choose with details to focus on and how to interpret events. For you are being encouraged to claim your power as a storyteller. Make no mistake, storytelling is an awesome power for no one can take your truth away from you but you may discover that it has more angles than you realized, just as a crystal turned over in your hand has more facets than apparent at first glance. What story will you tell? Will it be the one that is heroic and empowering, worthy of your hand, hard work and efforts to heal what is wounded within you? Rest assured that you can be honest about all that you have experienced and done, yet still write a story that will help you feel that you are strong, wise, and supported by the conscious universe. The truth we all share is complicated, and the way you tell your truth is up to you. So Torquoise Spirit encourages to write your story well, in a way that honors, empowers, and heals you, and gives you the strength even if others may not seem to accept your truth. Tell it anyway. For doing so is a healing act. You may have a message in pile one. Pile two, actually. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this reading. Bless you. Let me know how it resonated for you in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this reading a like, a thumbs up. Um, subscribe and hit the bell if you're new here. Uh, if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using, you can find information down below. If you want a private reading, you can contact me in the information that is in the description box as well. Information for my um, giveaway is also down there. So... Thank you so much for watching Pile 3. Stay blessed, be healed, and stay safe. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Bless you.